Why, hello, fellow Transformers enthusiasts. It is I, Noble2 Productions, back again with another unboxing. And today we are unboxing Legacy Velocitron Blur. Now, before we do that, I just want to say something. So, you may have noticed that last week there was no video. And that is because with school being the way that it is... Oh, my... What? My cat is yelling at me. Uh, with school being the way that it is, and the fact that I will be getting a job in the not-too-distant future, probably within these next few weeks, I've decided that I'm going to switch from a weekly upload schedule to what I believe is a bi-weekly upload schedule. I could be wrong. I am. I should look. I, I should have looked this up. I don't know if a bi-weekly schedule means I upload twice a week or if it means I upload every other week. Because I'm doing the second one. I'm uploading every other week. So, uh, this is going out pretty late into the week. I had another video I was working on. I was going to show you guys how I make my Energon cubes. But, as another makeshift modeling episode. But I might push that back. I will probably still finish the video. And then just have it as a backlog, essentially. So, yeah. Expect to see uploads every other week. So that I can, you know, balance work and school and, you know, still have mental health. I'm also doing Dungeons and Dragons at my school this year, and there is my cat. He is, oh, he needs attention, okay. What's that? All right, I'll, intermission, be back in a second. So now, with that out of the way, let's actually move on to this figure. So, uh, from the moment I saw this figure, I had, it was hilarious. I had just recently bought the SS86 version because I figured, oh, you know, I do love Blur. He is like my second or third favorite character. Uh, so, you know, I can I can get a second one because usually I like to have only one of each character unless the toy has either sentimental value or I can convert it into another character. Like with uh, me converting Legacy Drag Strip into Sideways. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna sell this one or if I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. I do not like the face, but other than that, the figure's pretty decent. Um, uh, so yeah, he is, this is kind of my number, like, three or four of the Velocitron series. My number one is Override. I really want Override, but she's getting scalps pretty hard. I have some scalpers in my area for both, like, Transformers and for Hot Wheels as well. The Hot Wheels ones I have seen in person. Uh, yes, it took everything out of me to not just go up to them and ask them what they're doing with their lives. Uh, but anyway, um, so I haven't been able to find an override. My second choice is honestly Scourge, just because I don't have a Nemesis Prime. I didn't get the Laser Prime mold because I knew they were going to do a Scourge. So I want that. Uh, my third is Clampdown because, oh yeah, and uh, I haven't seen any of the Velocitron leaders in my area, so I don't know if I'll even be able to find Scourge. I did see Hauler today, but I didn't see any Override because she's getting scalped. But my f third choice is Clampdown because uh, I didn't get the Earth-style Sideswipe mold yet, and uh, I like police bots. I think that they're cool. So he's my third choice. Then this was my fourth choice because, like, the SS86 one, it's okay, but like I said, I don't like the face. And this one looks a lot cooler, in my opinion. Partially because I'm a big fan of the IDW comics even though I've only just recently started reading them, because I found them on this thing called Sora, which my school uses as, like, an uh, uh, ebook service. Pretty cool. So anyways, let's actually look at the box instead of just rambling for an hour. So at the top, the Lost Transpedia 500 collection. Inside, you got Blur. The whole story for this line is that it's, like, the race on Velocitron to decide the planet's next leader. And, like... What chance has Hauler got to win? Unless he's there as, like, support staff, because Cosmos has a little flag. My cat will not shut up. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Anyway, uh, but yeah, Blur is winning. No question. Dude is, like, the fastest Cybertron. But yeah, you got a picture of him. You got Transformers Legacy, A-plus Hasbro, Blur, uh, Transformers. You got that, which I guess is the Velocitron logo or the Speedia logo. I don't know. Up here, you got Legacy and his car mode. Up top, you got his car mode, Lost Trans Media 500, Cart Only Generations. On the side, you have just some extension. Uh, I'll have to translate that to see what it means. I will put up 
something in the corner telling you what that says. Probably says like Velocitron. Uh, and you have blur. And on the back you have pictures of the actual figure. Very nice. 15 steps. Excuse me. And that's about it. Oh yeah, at the store I took like it took me like a solid 10 seconds to find the barcode because usually it's on the bottom, but they don't have it on the bottom. Anyway, yeah, as with all the other figures, he doesn't have the window, but in a shocking turn of events, because uh, this hasn't happened a lot in recent years, he is packaged in alt mode. That's all I have to say. So I already took the tape off. Let's just pop him open. And stuff. So he's tied in with these paper ties. The backdrop looks pretty cool, actually. Yes, I've heard about this. In the red cog from Target, which everybody else is finding, but my Target literally hasn't gotten anything new since Legacy Wave 1. They also, I don't think that they ever, like, my local targets are terrible as far as Transformers distribution. They haven't gotten Terrorsaur. They haven't gotten the Buzzworthy Terrorsaur. Uh, they have gotten the Buzzworthy uh, Maximal Dinobot, which I don't have interest in. I already have two of that mold. They haven't gotten Terrorsaur in. They haven't gotten Wave 2 in. They, I can't even think. The last wave of Studio Series that they got was the first wave of SS86. And then they've just been... It just had cup and blur shelf warming. No! He's just, he is relentless. He will, he wants something, but we cannot figure out what he wants. He's been fed, he's been let outside, and he came back in. What do you want? Oh, do you hear that? He says hello. Anyways, so. Let's just talk about the figure. So yeah, the vault mode is pretty good. There's wheels for some reason, even though it doesn't have any actual rolling wheels, surprisingly, uh, which was the thing on the other one. I'm very glad he did come with the welding torch because that is something I liked about the original, the 86 version. And he comes with the same gun, but in blue. And it's a pretty decent design. I like it. Uh, he has the same, a lot of the same parts. Let's just pull this guy in for a comparison. Is this part is different. These are different, uh, as are like these. These two components are the same piece. Uh, these are different. The top is mostly the same. Bottom is also mostly the same. But yeah. So, overall impressions, pretty decent. Speaking of uh, other blurs, I will show you my current blur collection. Why is he all lopsided? Tabbed in all the way or something. There we go. Nope, still lopsided. I can't figure out why. Here's my other blur. My Titans Return blur. This guy is so nostalgic. He was sort of... This was... It was the end of 2016, beginning of 2017 when I got into Transformers. Like, really got into it. I had a few figures before, but that was when I really got into it. And Blur was, like, one of my... He was one of my trailblazers. And he's all, that's why he's always been one of my favorites. I'd say, if I had to name my favorites, it would go RC, Blitzwing, Blur. Those are the three that I allow myself to get more than one of. I have two RCs and two Blitzwings, and now three Blurs. Though, like I said, I may sell this one. I don't know. But yeah. Very loud, rolly wheels. Anyways, let's uh, transform this guy. So I decided to go and see what he wanted. Yeah, it turns out he just wanted to go into the cold storage room. This is where I record audio for all my videos, for the record, and he, for some reason, just really wanted to get in here. He's so weird. So, first impressions on the robot mode? It's pretty good. I like it. I definitely like the design. These are a bit of a downgrade from these. These aren't as get in the way killily. They these are little much. And also his knees are kind of a bit weaker than I would have liked. And since this doesn't really tab in, that wobbles a lot. So overall, um 
I'm happy with the figure. He's decent. Does he have light piping? No, he does not. Uh, he has nice... Wow, those are really shiny eyes, though. I like that. As far as accessories, I mean, it's the same as the other blur. Overall, overall I'm, I'm happy with the figure. He's pretty decent. As far as would I recommend it? Do you like the IDW comics? Do you like blur? Just... It, it, this is a pretty uh, straightforward figure. I also like that this doesn't tab in, so it's just flopping about. It's a pretty straightforward figure. Do you want it? Depending on your answer, get it. He is wildly available. This guy is shelf warming a little bit alongside Burnout and Road Rocket. But let's just take a look at how he squares up with the rest of my Blur family. We got SS86 over here, aka the Giga Chad Blur. I don't, I don't like the face on that one. That's my one of my main issues with it. And then we got Titans Return Blur. I, I did, I did, I kind of wish I got the Takara Legends version, but I didn't know that that was a thing back then because I was like 10, 11. Uh, yeah. So yeah, overall, um, Vlastron Blur, pretty good. I like him. Uh, this isn't really a review, but if I gave him a rating, it would probably be in the 7 out of 10 range. So, because he's, he's good, but he's not, like, over-the-top fantastic. And between him and the Titans Return Blur, let's just take this guy out of the equation, because they are, they are basically the same transformation-wise. Between the SS86 and Velocitron Mold and the Titans Return Mold... I would still probably choose the Titans Return Mold, however, I don't know how easy these would be to get nowadays, because I know other Titans Return figures like Misfire and Trigger Happy, I think, maybe. Just some of the Titans Return figures, like Misfire and Octane and Misfire and Misfire. Why can't I get a Misfire? Makes me angry. Anyways, that's a tangent for another video. So, if you're not able to get this blur, or if you want this color scheme, but you can't get the Takara Legends version, I'd say this guy is definitely an acceptable blur. And he does, like, look pretty damn good. I like him. I like how instead of this blur, who looks really kind of depressed, or this blur, who looks like he's had a really bad plastic surgery, this guy just looks like kind of cocky and kind of lightning mcqueen oh, yeah by the way uh cars on the road is okay just if you were wondering so yeah this has been my uh opening things episode on velocitron speedio 500 collection blur and i am noble 2 productions saying peace out